Still full of running, and it's Götze! It's Mario Götze! It's Super Mario! He might just have won the World Cup for Germany! Mario Götze was once at the top of the world in 2014, literally and figuratively. The 22-year-old came in on the 2014 World Cup final with a game locked at 0-0 against Argentina. 10 minutes later, Goethe turned Germany into a 1-0 extra time win over Argentina, meaning winning the World Cup and launching himself as a next young superstar next to James Rodriguez, Neymar, and Gareth Bale. He was supposed to be a once in a generation player. Growing up, he was one of my favorite players and seeing him score in the World Cup final and put him on every single European team's radar. Fast forward to today, and in some places in the world, he has been completely discarded. The once young superstar isn't even considered in the starting 11 in any of the teams he has played for. Today, I will discuss the fall and future of Mario Götze as he is just reaching his prime. Before we get into the video, if you guys really like the video and the concepts that I've been making, please subscribe and give a like. Let's get right into it. A controversial transfer move. Götze was a product of Dortmund's youth academy, first entering the club as an eight year old. He had spent his whole youth life at Dortmund, but was convinced he needed to join Bayern Munich in 2013. This is as controversial as a Real Madrid player joining Barcelona or vice versa. That was just crazy looking back retrospectively. He did not care at all what anyone thought about his decision. Dortmund coach Jurgen Klopp claimed that Götze's transfer to Bayern was the playmaker's wish to play under the manager of Pep Guardiola, the former Barcelona manager. The transfer made Götze the most expensive German player of all time. But then, eventually, Mesut Özil broke the record later in the summer, transferring to Arsenal for 50 million pounds. Bayern is known for developing young talent to maximize their full potential while competing in the most prominent European competitions, especially when Pep Guardiola came to manage Bayern that year. By his admission, Mario Götze probably regretted the move when he returned to Dortmund in the summer of 2016. He said, knowing what I know now, I'd probably not make the same decision again after three years, but it was my decision and I'm not trying to hide from that. I wanted to take the risk. Jurgen Klopp later said that Dortmund could not convince Götze to stay at Dortmund as he claimed, Götze is a Pep Guardiola's favorite, a misfit in the system. In his first season at Bayern, Götze was brilliant. He scored 10 goals in his 27 appearances for Bayern. In his second season is where everything started going wrong for him. Turned out that Pep Guardiola had other plans for him at the Allianz Arena. The Catalan didn't ever need a false nine. He had Mario Mandzukic in his ranks. And one year later, he brought Robert Lewandowski from Götze's former club, Dortmund. And suddenly, Pep decided he had no idea how to use Mario Götze. Götze went from being a regular starter to Guardiola's to-go substitute. The Germans' average performances also left the Bayern hierarchy unimpressed. Later, it was revealed that Yuli Honus, Bayern's club president, that Mario Götze's transfer was never intended by the incoming Catalan manager. His idea was to bring a young Brazilian, which was many more. However, Honus accepted in the past, we've never done that well with such deals. As Pep wanted a similar player, we hit up upon Götze. A long list of injuries. Apart from not entirely fitting into Guardiola's system, he had many injuries at a young age. The plethora of injuries began as early as the age of 19, when he was diagnosed with inflammation of the pelvis. When at Borussia Dortmund, he tore a thigh muscle during Dortmund's Champions League semi-final against Real Madrid. The timing of the injury didn't help him either, as he came off injured at the Bernabeu just one week after his impending transfer to Munich came out of the media. At Bayern, more injuries came into a float as he missed 116 days in the 15-16 season with a pulled hamstring at the abductors. He has suffered other major injuries such as knee problems, back trouble, facial injuries, fracture ribs, etc. The last stance. Mario Götze just signed with Frankfurt this 22-23 season. It seems like the head coach Oliver Glasner 
loved the signing and is eager to get his career back on track after being in PSP for two seasons. In those two seasons, he scored nine goals and assisted 10 times in the Eredivisie, which is not bad. He will bring a lot of experience to the younger players in the squad, and I think he will serve as a great role model for them. Looking closely in his stats last season at PSV, he made 8.3 progressive passes per 90 minutes of play, which is inside the 88th percentile of an all attacking midfielder slash wingers. If you think this is an impressive stat, this wasn't the most remarkable stat that he has in his repertoire. The most impressive stat is the number of assists that he can bring to the team. Last season, he was among the 98th percentile of all players in assists with 0.53 assists per 90. I believe that with this transfer, Mario Gotze will make a name for himself again and see his true potential of Mario Gotze. With the aggressive pressing that Frankfurt has been known for, I know that Gotze will seamlessly fit into Frankfurt's system. What do you guys think? Leave your take in the comments below.